If we were to illustrate the adventure bike category with a Venn diagram, Komodo's Ibex 450 would occupy the space where long-legged, tech-heavy adventuring touring giants like BMW's R1300 GS intersect with lighter, less adventurous options such as Kawasaki's Versus X300, serving as an entry point into the adventure touring realm. This intersection represents what enthusiasts in the motorcycling world refer to as the ADV sweet spot, a zone characterized by mid-size engines, agile builds, modern technology, a more accessible price point, and some capability for off-road excursions. It's where the thrill of adventure is heightened without becoming overwhelming. Until recently, this sweet spot suffered from a noticeable absence in many manufacturer lineups. There was a conspicuous gap between larger, multi-cylinder powerhouses and simpler, less refined small displacement ADVs, leaving riders with limited choices, either fully committed or only dipping their toes in, with a substantial void in between. However, models like KTM's 890 Adventure, Aprilia's Touareg 660, Honda's Transalp, Yamaha's Tenera 700, and Suzuki's V-Strom 800DE have worked to bridge this divide demonstrating that less can indeed be more when it comes to off-road adventures. But if less can be more, can a slightly smaller engine narrow the gap even further without compromising on quality, avoiding the classification of a budget-friendly, entry-level ADV? And can a manufacturer truly deliver all the necessary features for just $6,500? If the wide grins shining through our dust-covered faces serve as any indication, aside from signaling the dry season in the Philippines, it's that the Ibex 450 from CF Moto is far from a cheap, low-budget substitute. The heart of the 2025 CF Moto Ibex 450 lies in its 449 cubic centimeters parallel twin engine with a 270-degree crank, a refined version derived from Komodo's 450NK and 450SS models designed for on-road use. The Ibex variant boasts enhancements such as a dedicated camshaft design, airbox, and exhaust system aimed at improving mid-range performance. CF Moto claims figures of 44 horsepower at 8,500 RPM and 32.5 pound-feet of torque at 6,250 RPM for the Ibex, highlighting a torque curve that is punchy albeit shorter compared to the flatter curve of the NK model. To provide a comparative perspective, KTM claims around 44 horsepower and 26 pound-FT of torque for its upcoming 390 adventure, while Royal Enfield states figures of 40 horsepower and 30 pound FT for its 452 cubic centimeters single-cylinder Himalayan. Honda's current generation CB500X twin recorded 42 rear-wheel horsepower and 29 pound FT on our Dynojet Dyno, whereas the Tenera 700 impressively reached 61 horsepower and 42 pound FT on the same equipment. Positioned in between, Cove's FSE 450, our rally boasts a claimed output of 52 horsepower and 31 pound FT of torque. These motorcycles are mentioned because the Ibex can be realistically compared with any of them. The objective is to bridge various gaps in the market. The Ibex 450's adaptability is partly owed to Komodo's well-tuned twin engine. While it delivers ample power for light to moderate highway cruising, its power delivery is reminiscent of a tractor, particularly when compared to the 450NK model we recently tested, making it more suitable for off-road ventures. Although there's a slight delay from the cable-actuated throttle, the fueling is precise once initiated, and it delivers smooth, tractable power from as low as 3,000 RPM. This characteristic proves valuable when traversing challenging terrains like deep sand or steep inclines, minimizing strain on both the engine and the rider. To emphasize this capability, CF Moto invited us to a nearby off-road park and subjected us to a series of obstacles. Negotiating tight, sandy turns on steep inclines under hot, humid, and dry conditions might not typically be enjoyable, but the Ibex 450 tackled the challenge with such ease that it evoked genuine laughter from us. We found ourselves navigating through obstacles that seemed beyond our reach, thanks to the surprising level of traction and smooth power delivery. Is the powertrain flawless? Not entirely. Our primary concern revolved around the clutch lever, which offers a light, easy pull but lacks feedback at the engagement point. For novice riders and technical off-road situations, enhanced feedback would be preferable to assist in finding the friction zone, even if it means sacrificing a slightly heavier pull. However, on the positive side, 
the bike features adjustable clutch and brake levers, thoughtful additions for a motorcycle priced at $6,500. The 2025 CF Moto Ibex 450 boasts a chassis packed with impressive features, including a fully adjustable KYB fork and preload slash rebound adjustable shock, both offering 8 inches of travel. Tubeless wheels are a welcome addition, particularly for those unfamiliar with changing tubes on the trail side or simply prefer the convenience they offer. Available in 21 and 18 inch sizes, these wheels underscore the Ibex's commitment to off-road performance. The chassis represents a fresh design, with CF Moto hinting at drawing inspiration from the KTM 790 Adventure, owing to its collaboration with Peer Mobility AG. This partnership highlights the synergy between CF Moto and PMG. Similar to the Tenera 700, the lower portion of the Ibex's frame can be detached for maintenance purposes or in the event of damage during a ride, facilitating easy replacement. Behind the Ibex's fairings lies a couple of additional features, including a two-position shock linkage that allows for rear lowering, reducing the seat height from 32.3 to 31.5 inches. For those seeking a taller riding position, an optional accessory seat raises the height to 34.3 inches. In terms of packaging and overall dimensions, the Ibex resembles the full-size Tenera 700 more than the smaller KTM 390 Adventure offering handling characteristics that fall somewhere in between. The bike exhibits a lightweight, neutral demeanor, making it easy to maneuver through challenging terrains such as ruts or slippery, dusty corners. It maintains ample reserves for swift line adjustments when encountering unexpected obstacles like rocks or stray animals, a common occurrence in the hills outside El Nido. In slow-speed technical riding, the Ibex maintains balance and proves easy to control. While it exudes a sense of fun and liveliness, it does so without feeling overly edgy. However, the stock suspension lacks refinement and tends to feel too stiff in the initial part of the stroke, resulting in deflections off rocks and sharp-edged bumps. While this sensation diminishes as speed increases and more load is applied to the suspension, the inherent busyness of the fork remains. Expect to invest time in fine-tuning the suspension if you plan on extensive off-road riding. The experience on the road mirrors that of off-road adventures. The Ibex remains nimble and comfortable for extended rides, though it tends to sit lower in the rear and could benefit from some adjustments to enhance front-end confidence, especially during spirited cornering. Given the patchy asphalt conditions in El Nido, Palawan, we opted for a more conservative approach to riding. One advantage of cruising at moderate speeds around El Nido is that it never pushes the Jade 1 brakes to their limits. Consisting of a single four-piston caliper and 320mm disc up front, and a single piston caliper gripping a 240mm disc at the rear, the braking power is ample for leisurely rides. However, there's a slight lack of feedback in the initial part of the lever pull, which can dent confidence during more enthusiastic riding. Moving on to the 2025 CF Moto Ibex 450's electronic features and other amenities, rider aids include switchable ABS and traction control, both conveniently operable via a switch on the left handlebar or independently adjustable through the 5-inch TFT display. 